have to do something about that rooster. <laughs> hello, my friends. Hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is Sunday the 14th. It is, oh, a glorious day. And we have something from the Queen of Swords. Coleslaw, envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage. Yes, actually I was. You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy, fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. Mmm. I learned how to cook coleslaw. Can't wait until I get a kitchen. What does the fortune teller say for us today? The spirits are very displeased. They will do your be their best to make your life difficult. They seem to be displeased quite a lot. I am concerned. And what is the weather going to be like tomorrow? Partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Well, my friends, it is the end of another week in Stardew Valley. A wonderful and very busy week. And we have got so much done, but today we have a full list. Yes, we do. We need to water all our crops, very important. And oh, we need to do something about this grass or it is going to encroach on our farm and kill our crops. Yes, today we are going to do three things. Today is Haley's birthday. So we are going to track her down, rude girl that she is, and we are going to give her a daffodil for her birthday if we have one. If not, she's getting spaghetti. Like everyone else, she's getting spaghetti. <laughs> hey, beans. Oh, that's well. We now have something else to add to our list. We are going to the community center to hand in our beans for the spring crops quest. That is fantastic because if we do that, then all that we have left is our cauliflower. And I'm afraid they are quite a ways from being ready to go, but that's all right. And then we are also going to take um, all of our museum stuff to the museum. We're going to see Clint and get him to break open our geodes. And we are going to find Robin's lost axe. That is a lot of things to do in one day in Stardew Valley. Can we do it? We will find out. We also might need to go to Pierre's because we, are, we have quite a few spaces left. Let me see how many seeds I have left. Oops. In my... In my chest i don't think i'm going to have enough to fill in but we will find out so yes that's five things that we need to do today let's see if we can get them all done it's going to be a bit of a rush it's not going to be an energy um an energy strong day it's going to be a rushing around and beating time day so that will be our problem today because it is already 8 50 a.m and all we've done is water our plants. Don't I do that when you said it? Okay. Let's have a look first of all to see what seeds we have in here. Well, I'm keeping the parsnip seeds. We have two spring seeds left. And oh, we can actually make... Is it worth... You know, I think I'm going to go to Pierre's and I'm going to get myself... Because I have a thousand gold. I'm going to get myself some more cauliflower seeds because cauliflowers are um, they sell quite well and also somebody Jody needs a cauliflower later on she has a quest that comes up quite often where she needs a cauliflower so I need to hang on to one of those so let's get out all of the stuff that we're taking today so a daffodil for Haley. Uh, we've got stuff for the museum is that all for the museum? One, two, three, four. We've got our two geodes. We're going to plant those. We're going to sell our potatoes and most of our beans. I think that's it. Yep. All right. All right. Let's. Oops. No, I don't want to sell that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Keeping one bean. Selling all our potatoes organize this mess let's plant two spring seeds now one two three four five six seven we have seven spots for cauliflower cauliflower takes quite a while to mature which is why you have to be very careful when you plant it because at the end of the season anything that's still in the ground will basically disappear uh, it just gets destroyed overnight or it dies basically it doesn't disappear I spoke incorrectly um, so you need to be careful that you plant and make sure that everything has time to mature before the end of the season so we're going to check and see 
Oh my gosh, no jobs. That's the first in a long time. I have to go down and say hi to George in a minute. Hello, Pierre. How are you today? I wish I could go for a walk, but I can't leave the store unattended. Well, you know, you do have a, a wife and daughter. I've heard the flowers are in bloom and the air smells great. It does and they are, Pierre. So, cauliflower seeds, 12 days. We have 14 days left in the month. So, yes, I can get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to try for eight. Hope that some of my other stuff. Hello, George. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. This is true. Now they make them on machines. <sighs> Poor George. Hey, George. Uh, yes, we are going to hope that some of my other crops mature in the next two days so that I can plant all of my cauliflower and get lots and lots of cauliflower. All right, let's go up and put this bean in. Bring crops bundle. There we go. Just need a cauliflower and that is done. It is 10.50. We have to go to the museum. We have to go to the blacksmith and we need to find Haley. Now, I believe Haley will... Oh, you know what? While I'm here, and since I have bucket loads of energy, let's see if we can get some free seeds. No. Well, that was disappointing. Haley often... Oh, hangs around the fountain, but she's not there today. Of course she's not because it's her birthday and I need to find her. Hayley! Hayley! I'll go down and see if she is in her house. We might be. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hello, my friend. Well, not my friend, but soon to be my friend, I'm sure. I have. Yeah, shush. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. You are welcome, Hayley. You are welcome. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Oh, you poor thing. Just look, when you get older, you'll realize what a blessing sisters are. Let's have a look at our social. How, yes, Haley is now at two hearts. She is much happier with us. Uh, oh, Shane's at one heart. That's fantastic. Maybe that's why he wasn't so rude last time we spoke to him. That is great. All right, time to go across to the blacksmith and we'll just check the bins nothing okay what about this bin Doo -doo -doo. no one's looking oh good hello <laughs> how are you alex yes my hands aren't dirty at all hey what you want to talk to me i'm busy you're standing there right whatever that's fine alex no problem huddle down here past mayor lewis and go over to the museum like the pariah that I am. <laughs> country towns. I do love the way that they've captured the feeling of country towns. You know, you're a stranger until you're not. You're probably a stranger for like four generations. Hey, Clint. Don't you have work to do? Well, I yes, but why does everyone say that? Look, I have so much to do. It's ridiculous. Let's see what's in this geode. Copper. Yep, good. And coal. Ten coal. I'm not going to complain about that. Thank you very much, Clint. That was fantastic. Your work, as always, is exceptional. We appreciate it. I need to save up for a hoe, a copper hoe. I'm going to need one before summer comes along. Ha ha! Hello, my friend. Guess what? I have some stuff to donate. I have a topaz. I have some quartz. And I have an amethyst. And I have a chewing stick which is hilarious oh i got a reward that's excellent that is excellent what did i get oh no <laughs> nine cauliflower seeds i mean that's great but i can't wait for 17 crops to harvest i'm gonna have to spend the rest of the day hoeing the soil hoeing the soil while i'm here no i don't have time to read books i'm sorry gunther i gotta go bye <laughs> I got to rush home. Okay, so what did we say we do? We're going to give Haley her thing. Yep, we did that. We gave her a daffodil. And look, another daffodil. That is fantastic. I will pick you up. Yoink. Uh, we went to the museum. We processed our geodes with Clint. We went and bought some cauliflower seeds and we put our bean in the museum. Hey, Granny. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. Yes, it does. As kids, we hunted for seashells after the tide went out. Those were the days. Oh man, now I want to go to the beach. Hey, Abigail. 
Oh man, I've been pushing up my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both, my friend. Actually, that's a lie. I usually run out of energy like at about three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think it means I'm doing my job well. Yes, I agree, Lewis. It's definitely that. Definitely. All right, let's toddle home. We still have Robin's axe to get, and I would really like to get that today, but... Hmm, I also need to get these crops in. So let us see what we can do. Cauliflower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's hoe some ground. Ooh. There's weeds here. I need to sort that out. What have I got left? Ten. All right, that's ten. Clear these weeds. Pick that up. Because the last thing I want is for weeds to come in and destroy my very expensive cauliflower crop. I've actually tried to grow cauliflower uh, in real life. You know, I went through a period where I was growing vegetables and it was fun. I really enjoyed growing vegetables, but like tomatoes are easy. Anyone can grow tomatoes. You throw a tomato in the ground and you get more tomatoes. It's fantastic. Um, but cauliflower, well, the uh, cabbage moths got into my cauliflower and yeah, it was disgusting. They basically shredded it. There was nothing left except these stumpy little stems so uh yeah i didn't i've never tried growing cauliflower since they are too difficult i'm going to take my axe with me no i'm not yes i am all right our cauliflower is in let's see if we can find robin's axe that would be fantastic way to finish off the day and i know where it is because as mentioned before i have played this game right through to the end several times and uh, so i do remember quite a few things and that is one of the things that I remember because this is uh, one of those quests that comes up all the time. You always get the Robin's Axe quest and it is great early game because you just come down here. Oh and you know what I haven't done for ages? I haven't looked for spring onions and look at that! Spring onions! I completely forgot about you. I've been so busy. <laughs> Uh, none down there. Okay, and the axe should be... There it is. Hello. Better return it to Robin. Yes, well, I will. Hopefully Robin will be outside uh, because she sometimes comes out in the evenings with Demetrius to stand by the lake. Now, honestly, I think Robin's house and her house location is my favourite in Stardew. If I was going to live in a country town... That's where I would live, sort of off in the boonies a little bit, up by the lake. You're very private and protected and you've got this beautiful view. And yeah, it's uh, I live in a big city right now and I like the big city. I enjoy a lot of the things that you get in the big city, like culture and art and things like that. So it is worth it. And, you know, a good job. That also helps. But uh, hello, Joe. How you doing, Baba? Um... But I'm surrounded by houses and I have to go quite a long way because it's a big city. I have to go quite a long way out of the city before I can get back to nature. And I do love nature. So that is a little bit disappointing. Oh, I better go and say hello to Linus while I'm here. So yeah, it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. But this is what holidays are for. Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. I just had to wait it out. Oh my gosh, who would do that? You know what we don't have in Stardew Valley? We don't have policemen to come and say, hey, stop throwing rocks at Linus's house. How you doing, Demetrius? It's good to take a break from work every now and then. Yes, it is. But everyone keeps telling me or asking me why I'm not working. I guess that's kind of difficult when you live on a farm, though. Yes, thank you. It is. Hey, Robin. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. Okay. Can we just talk about this, Robin? An axe is an axe. If you almost chopped your toe off, maybe the axe is not the problem, but you need to consider your technique because that's concerning. Also, 
Why are you not wearing steel cap boots? Goodness me. All right, Sebastian, hello. Hey, your name is Penn, right? That's right. You remembered! Yay, that's fantastic. Oh, it's the little things. It's the little things. Well, that was good. And what did we get for Robin's Lost Axe? 250 gold. Oh, there is actually a clue in the journal, which I didn't read because I knew where it was. But it says, the last time she remembers using it, she was cutting wood south of Marnie's ranch. So, and that's pretty much exactly where the axe was. So for those of you who haven't played this through like four or five times, <laughs> that's where you get Robin's axe and you do actually get hints in the uh, quest journal itself. Well, that was fantastic. Let us now, I can't believe how fast these days go. Like, I feel like I just started it five minutes ago, but I think it's been about 20 minutes that I've been running around here trying to sort this out and just checking no there's no jobs today and it's the end of another week i can't believe it it's already the end of week two in stardew valley we have got so much done we've got a backpack we went to the mines and we survived after going to the mines and dying <laughs> so hey anyway let us sell our produce what are we selling we're selling our spring onions because we don't need them that's all actually that is all we are selling today and we are going to put a leak in here because i know I know that George will ask for a leak later on and we will put the other two things in here. You know what, maybe it's time for another chest. I'm chewing through my wood here and I'm trying to save up to uh, fix that, um, fix the bridge. So I'm gonna make this chest green. I'm gonna take out anything that's not related to farming. You. You, 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 da, da, da. yeah, I need more chests. So I'll put everything in here and eventually I'll sort this out a little bit more. But for now, I'm just trying to get it to the point where I can find things. All right, that's all farming stuff. Okay, can I fit everything else in? Yeah, yes. Uh. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm keeping that dandelion. So you remember I said before the penny likes dandelions. If you gift someone something that has a gold star, you get bonus friendship points. So, for example, if I had a gold star leak, I don't think I have a gold star leak. No, I don't. I would totally keep it for George. And the same with gold star daffodils. Um, you can't get gold star food, unfortunately, but any of the forage things you can get gold stars. And I have a tiny little bit of energy left, so I'm going to chop down another tree since I just used 50 wood to make a chest. But that's all right, so that'll be the end of my day. Wow, what a week at his, it has been in Stardew Valley. We have done so much. We are making progress, and it sort of makes me stop and think, well, what are we going to do next week? Well, who knows? Oh, that doesn't go in there. It goes in here. This goes in here. Beautiful. All right, let us go to bed, my friends. Oh, no, no, let us not. Let's chop down another tree. I think we can actually make it. Yep, yep. Mm, getting there. Come on. Oh, that must have been close. Four. I have four energy left. But it was worth it. It was totally worth it because I got another tree chopped down. That's fantastic. 83 wood. We're still a long way from 300. Oh, can we actually make it? Well, let's find out. Let's go to bed and see how our day went in Stardew Valley. Hey, Joe. <gasps> Level up farming. Fantastic. We are rocketing up the levels. That is great. Plus one watering can proficiency, plus one hoe proficiency. That is going to make things a lot easier for us. We have a new crafting recipe, which is a bee house. Bees. Fantastic fun. Can't wait to show you these. New crafting recipe, Speed Grow. So that increases the growth of your crops by, I think it's some piddly little percent. It's honestly not worth using. And new cooking recipe, Farmer's Lunch. Farmer's Lunch is absolutely the best when you're in year two and you need that energy. You make yourself some Farmer's Lunch and it makes life a lot easier. 
How did we go? Did we make much money today? Yes, we did. Now we're starting to bring in the cash. So we made $1,000 farming, 42 gold foraging for a total of 1,062 gold. And that is the end of our second week in Stardew Valley, my friends. I hope you are enjoying this series. I am having an absolute ball with this playthrough. Loving the new content, loving the old content. Stick around because there's plenty more to come. I will see you tomorrow in Stardew Valley. Bye.